it is done. I have finally finished my modifications to the trailer. And so now what I'm going to do is weigh the trailer and just verify what it now weighs and um, you know what the tongue weight is and things like that. Now I did make a video a little while back uh, before I started making these modifications and in that video I, I'll, I'll link to it right here above. Uh, that was what the trailer weighed when it was stock with all of the original things that it came with. We have a, a new truck we're pulling it with, with in this case but that's okay I'll, I'll weigh the, tr the trailer separately. In this case the truck is pretty much empty. You can see we've got a car seat in it right there and two car seats back here. Uh, it doesn't have James's car seat, which he'll be sitting there, but that's a forward facing or a rear facing car seat. So we, we take it into the house with us. And then this truck, the bed of it is empty. So we're going to just be weighing a stock Ford F-250. Here you can see the tongue weight you would think will be much heavier because of the mini split, but I actually removed all three propane canisters because we don't need to use propane anymore. And I will just be keeping one in the bed of the truck just in case. I just weighed these two canisters and the two combined are 73 pounds. And that of course includes the propane inside of them, which I think they're both mostly, if not entirely full, plus the metal tank itself. And then over here on this side of the trailer, the slide out storage you can see there is empty. The pass through storage, is empty as well and then the battery compartment is empty because we'll no longer use that and for fun you can see this is my electric vehicle charging circuit right here which I'll show you in later videos and then coming around to this side of the trailer we have this other battery compartment that's empty we have the bed laid out which will affect the tongue weight slightly when it's folded up it's more tongue weight I've removed everything from the closets here on the sides of the bed uh, here's the indoor portion of the mini split I still have a little bit of cable work to do right here, but that's not going to affect the weight. And then um, the storage here is empty. The storage underneath the kitchen sink, that is empty as well. And like I said, I've emptied out all of the cupboards. This is where the microwave was from the manufacturer, and that is now just pantry space for us. This is the touch screen for the Victron control. And then down here, this is the microwave oven that we've installed. It's a convection microwave. And then we have a conduction electric cooktop. And I'm still working on finishing a little piece here, but that's pretty negligible weight-wise. And then back here we have the three bunk beds. Those are all standard. And all the cupboards back here are completely emptied out. And the bunk beds and everything here, it's pretty much all stocked back here, at least how it was when I got it. And the bathroom as well is empty and pretty much stock. And also, of course, the most important thing that I have added that is heavy is down here we have uh, eight Battleborn batteries and then two Victron MultiPlus inverters and other um, components, charge controllers, and the like, which I'll go over in more detail later. But that's there under the, underneath the bed slash couch. Right here on the kitchen counter by the front door is a Berkey water filter. This is what I've added and I'll go over this in more detail later. Um, but I just wanted to point out that it's empty. I've emptied, emptied out all the water from it. And up here in the top of it, this top part is empty as well. Um, it does have a little bit of residual water in the bottom of it. And these filter elements are wet, so they weigh something. An important modification to note here is of course the five solar panels here on the roof of the RV. And then all of the connecting wires and whatnot that are down here. And I took off the rooftop air conditioner, so that kind of offsets some of this weight gain. Also, if we want to look at the tongue weight, we can see here that we're sitting at 1,100 pounds on the tongue weight right now. Okay, so with that brief tour of the trailer and showing that it's empty, I'm now going to go weigh it and we'll see how that turns out. One important factor to consider as well is all three water tanks are completely empty in the trailer right now. So take that into consideration when I show you these numbers. All right, here I am in the scale. And as you can see, the front axle is in front of this yellow line. And then the back axle is behind this. And then there is yet yeah, a third platform back here that has the tandem axles of the trailer on it. So uh, they've just weighed it and I'm gonna go inside and look at the results. Okay, I have the readout here. Uh, you can see the whole thing was 13,000 pounds. We'll uh, go over this in more detail back home. Uh, we're gonna do the reweigh now. So I have disconnected the trailer from the truck and I'm now just gonna go weigh the truck. Here is the scale. It doesn't have that cool banner over the top of it like the other one I used. 
I finished weighing just the truck and now I'm gonna go see what the total is. And you can see the truck basically weighs 7,400 pounds. I'm now going to get the trailer hitched back up to the truck and we'll go back home and I'll review this in my office. I have entered everything here into this spreadsheet. Uh, now this is the weight prior to making modifications. So just in brief review of that information though, you can see all the way down here that the weight of the trailer is 5,340 pounds uh, back before I made any changes. Uh, so now let's scroll down to the new weight after making modifications. So this is with my Ford truck, which you'll notice is different than the prior truck up here, which was a Dodge Ram. Uh, so that's that's a difference, but really what we're focused on is just the trailer in this case. The, the weigh-in here is steering axle, drive axle, and the trailer axle. Those are those three weights here, and I've put in, it in here for with kilograms as well for your convenience. And so the gross weight was 13,000 pounds. And so the second weigh-in is just the truck itself. So th this down here is the key, is, is what we're looking at. So the front axle loses weight because of the extra tongue weight on the back of the truck. It brings up weight off the front uh, drive, uh, the, the steer axle. Uh, so then the rear axle gains additional weight and it gains more weight than just the tongue weight because of that weight, um, the teeter-totter effect of the weight coming off of the front of the truck. Uh, and so then here we have the entire weight of the trailer is 6,040 pounds. The post modifications weight, the difference is 700 pounds that I have added to the trailer. And that of course is the net difference. I've removed things from the trailer and I've added things and the net difference is 700 pounds. Now I've upgraded the axles and, the, and, and reinforced the frame. So we can now go up to 7,000 pounds and, and we'll be just fine. I hope this has been helpful to see uh, what the weight difference is after making all of these modifications and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.